Ukrainian paratroopers on U.S. strikers repel Russian attacks from all sides. Forbes. At the beginning of 2023, the United States transferred almost 200 striker combat vehicles to Ukraine. Almost all the equipment was received by the new elite 82nd Airborne Brigade of the Ukrainian Airborne Forces. Now they are fighting in Volchansk. According to Forbes, this is the first time these armored fighting vehicles are used on the battlefield for which they were created. We are talking about urban battles. Amid the fighting in the north of the Kharkiv region, rumors began to circulate that the 82nd Airborne Assault Brigade was in a hurry to strengthen the garrison in Volchansk. Recently, the fighters confirmed their deployment in new positions. Video from UAVs and helmet cameras shows Ukrainian paratroopers entering the battle in the center of Volchansk. One soldier even fired an anti-tank missile from the striker's open top hatch. The goal was to take defensive positions and hold off the enemy, one of the paratroopers said in a separate video. As noted, fighters on these armored fighting vehicles should avoid direct combat with the Russian mechanized or tank brigade, especially in open terrain where heavier tanks and tracked combat vehicles can apply their superior firepower at long range. Last year, the 82nd Air Assault Brigade entered combat for the first time against entrenched Russian mechanized forces in the open fields of southern Ukraine. The brigade lost at least eight of its armored fighting vehicles, which Oryx analysts were able to verify. With the southern front stabilized and the Russians concentrating their forces in the east and north of the cities, the 82nd Air Assault Brigade was finally able to fight in advantageous terrain. In an effort to pass through Volchansk to clear the way to Kharkov, the new northern group of Russian army forces began infantry assaults. Assault groups, usually up to platoons in size, engage in combat operations with a strong point before combining with other assault groups. This reduces losses when approaching the target, but slows down the pace of advance, explained the Ukrainian Defense Center strategies. Platoons of Russians were scattered across the urban gray zone in the center of Volchansk, blurring the front line and forcing Ukrainian striker crews to engage in 360-degree combat. We held a perimeter defense. They came from all sides said one of the paratroopers. Fortunately, strikers are suitable for round-robin combat. These vehicles make good platforms for surveillance and shooting, and the sensors and weapons mounted on top make them difficult for invaders to sneak up on. More importantly, each striker carries an entire squad of nine infantrymen. Thus, a group of four AFVs can deploy a full platoon of nearly 40 infantrymen, something that the heavier, less capable M2 tracked vehicles Cannot. The Su-27 supersonic fighter was damaged as a result of the attack of the armed forces of Ukraine on the military airfield Kashovska. This is reported by the Russian media ASTRA. Recall, on the night of May 19, the Crimean Peninsula was hit by rocket attacks of the Ukrainian army. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that the Atakms missiles were repelled by the air defense system. But Ukraine states that at least three missiles were not shot down and hit the territory of the military airfield in the town of Kushchevsk, Krasnodar territory, on the night of May 19. As a result of the attack, a fire broke out, the Russian Su-27 supersonic fighter and the infrastructure of the airfield were damaged. According to other information, at the airfield, intelligence of Ukraine worked together with the forces of unmanned systems of the armed forces of Ukraine. Russians on social networks complained about a series of explosions and fires at night, and one even cried, they blew up our bush. At this airfield there were dozens of different planes that attack Ukrainian positions at the front, Su-34, Su-25, Su-27, MiG-29. This is the second drone attack on the Kushchevska military airfield and the Slovensk refinery in the last three weeks. At that time, Several planes were hit at the airfield, and the refining and atmospheric columns were hit at the refinery. Furthermore, on the night of May 19, there was a drone attack on the Slavyank oil refinery in the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that the drone belonging to Ukraine fell on the territory of the factory and exploded. As a result, a fire broke out in the plant and its activity was suspended for a while. No casualties are reported. In addition, 
It is said that during the night there was a strong explosion and fire at an oil base in Vyborg, Leningrad region, Russia. It is not known what caused the explosion.